Masterpiece London, which is now in its fourth year. And this is the place to come and see what the world has to offer in fine arts, design, antiques, and of course, jewellery. Now there's some 20 or so exhibitors showing different pieces of jewellery, both vintage and new. And I've had a look round and selected what I think could catch your eye. I'm here to talk to Lee Siegelson of Siegelson from New York. Um, Lee, I'm wearing something quite spectacular on my finger, aren't I? The Maharaja Sunset. It's an almost 50 karat golden color Golconda diamond. And what's really beautiful about it is the shape. It has this old cutting style and it. Probably in a modern stone it would be the same dimensions of an 80 karat diamond. Siegelson's a family business. We've been doing this for about three generations. Our principles pretty much the same of just trying to have good things, better examples of jewelry made from different periods of time. This clock is, I think, the greatest art deco clock or object made by a jewelry firm. It was actually designed for the house of Ostertag, and it was made by the best French maker, Verger. And the movement is Vacheron and Constantine. This necklace, to me, represents, you know, Cardia when they were traveling to India and picking up these beautiful, unusual uh, gemstones, and they took that Indian influence and really put it in the French style. This was actually commissioned for Baron de Rothschild. I think this one is about four and a half million dollars. Gulp. <laughs> Gulp. <laughs> and surprise, surprise, here are Marie Antoinette's pearls. This necklace that belonged to the Duchess of Sutherland is made up of pearls that Marie Antoinette gave to the Duchess for bringing her food and clothes when she was thrown into the Bastille. It could be yours for £208,000. At Symbolic and Chase, we saw this spectacular 65.4 carat natural pearl, which it claims is the third largest perfectly formed pearl of its kind. Also at Symbolic and Chase, we saw pieces by René Boivin, Suzanne Belperon, and Michel Ong. Theo Fennell likes to present jewels and objects with a sense of humour. Here is a chess set meticulously crafted to represent different felines and the hierarchy of power. Imagine what a game of chess you could have with this. Emmela, the German jeweller based in Munich, have as always a fantastic selection of the most amazing stones set in unexpected ways. A special treat is this spider with a horse conch pearl as its body that is a one of a kind that will be at the v &A exhibition about pearls coming up later this winter. If you want to know all that's happening in the world of jewellery and watches, visit my website, jewelleryeditor.com.